A policy concerning donations to local nonprofits will not change. The Bemidji City Council unanimously decided to keep a moratorium on nonprofits. Lacey Montalion has the story. The city's moratorium on money to local nonprofits began about six years ago. Council was getting a lot of uh, requests for different types of funding for different types of organizations, and we were taking up a lot of time and staff effort on what we could do, what we couldn't do. Today, the council considered setting aside 5% of funds from liquor taxes that nonprofits would have to apply for, but they ultimately decided against it for more than one reason. They all have good causes and they all have good reasons to be around. It's not necessarily the reason that taxpayer money should be given to them. One of the major reasons the city opted to keep the moratorium is because city officials say the city really just doesn't have the money to spend on extra projects. Looking at what we have coming in front of us in the next few years, bond payments, interest on bond payments, uh, that's money that we really need. We're not flushed with cash. Council members say the current moratorium is there for good reason. The moratorium that's in place was my motion because one, it was a very, very uncomfortable feeling to sit there and say, gee, this one's good enough, but this one isn't. And for city council members, funding nonprofits should continue to be a job for the private sector. Lacey Montalion, Lakeland News. Now, some nonprofits that are housed in buildings owned by the city and have been grandfathered in, such as the Historical Society, will continue to have some fees waived, but the city will not set aside additional funds for them. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.